All right, what's going on guys? Thank you for getting this far. Uh, in this video, we're going to be, you should be right here setting up your email follow-up. And what I'm going to be teaching you is how to get your share code, input it into Aweber, uh, change out your email links so that you are, uh, so that they're going back to your website and obviously not mine. We don't want that. And you also want to change out your name and stuff like that. So how we're going to do this is we're going to go over to Aweber and you want to have your, uh, your MCA list or whatever list you're using for the funnel open. Okay, so then we're going to go down to legacy follow up. We're going to click on that. Okay, and we're going to do scroll right to the bottom and we're going to say load a campaign. Okay, and what we want to put here is the code. Oh, we want to put here the code from this button right here. So if you click here under the video that you're watching, a code's going to pop up. You want to grab this code, right? Copy that code, go over to Aweber and input that code in. Okay. Once you hit load campaign, what's going to happen is you're going to load this series right here. Okay. And what I've done is I've set it up. Okay. So that it drip feeds over the course of about nine days. Okay. Because it takes about seven to 10 experiences. Um, this is going to increase your conversions as people get to the end. All right, so we're converting really high. Uh, I've been I've been using this formula for a while now, and it works really well. So we're going to send out the first one immediately, and then we're going to send out the next two emails the next the day after the last email was sent. All right, and then for the last three emails, we're going to send them two days after okay so you don't have to touch anything this is all going to be done the only thing you have to do is you're going to want to go into each email right you're going to want to click on it and then you're going to want to replace the links right these are going to be my links and my name right here okay so you're going to want to change out this and change out that link if you want to put your phone number in and your Skype, you can. I recommend it. It makes people, uh, you know, want to read your information because they know that you're a real person, and they know that you know you're there to help because they see your information. If you don't want to put that, just you know, remove this and just end with your name. But you definitely want to make sure that you click. Just click anywhere here, and then click on the little gear or the chain, and then just change this. So as you see supercharged MCA email one. So if we go over to click magic, right? And we click on MCA email one, as you see here, this is the same link. So what I've done is I've taken my tracking link, right? And I've input that into my Aweber email follow-up. So as people, and for just so you guys know, if you're thinking, oh, I don't really need to track my emails, this isn't just for your purposes. This is to keep your uh, your Aweber account, you know, trusted so that people like it. Aweber, if you don't know anything, you like they like um, you know links that took effort to make. So what I mean by this is like links with domains attached to them that are redirected. Uh, they're not just you know plain Jane affiliate links because they take that as okay. He's you know just spamming links. <laughs> So you want to make sure that you set up a tracking link for each email. It's only six of them, right? You're going to set up six tracking links and you're going to put those into your funnel. Okay. So then once we finish that, let's go back over to Aweber. We're going to click on save and exit. And you're going to want to do that for every, every uh, email that you got imported. Okay, so it's going to take you maybe two minutes to set everything up, but you want to make sure that you go through and just change out the links. That's all you have to do. Change out the links and put your name in the bottom of each email. It's very, very simple. After that, we want to come over to sign up forms. Okay, we want to click on sign up forms. And this, if you haven't already created a sign up form, you want to make sure that you create a sign up form. 
or your links are not going to fire properly, or I mean your sign up, as people put in their email, it's going to say list not active if you don't have a sign up form. Okay, because what's going to happen is we want to click edit. All right, and we want to click on settings now. And now that we have our tracking link, if you haven't set up your tracking link, make sure to watch the video below this video to set up your tracking links. And you want to put this as your MCA bridge page. So as you see, if I go over to Click Magic, I have my bridge page. And this is where people go after they opt in. And as you see, MCA bridge page, we're going to go back over to Aweber, and that's where I have this, right? MCA bridge page. And you want to put that for the already subscribed as well. And then you're all set up, ready to roll, click save form, and that's all you need to do for that. Okay? If we head over to list options, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that this is not a free email. So, you know, if you have a domain or if anything like that, um, you want to make sure that it is, you know, a non Gmail. So what we're going to do is I have one set up. We're going to do this, change it and click save settings. Okay. So now we're successfully saved and now this is no longer a free email. This is my domain email. <laughs> And then the final step for the email setup is click on confirmed opt-in and you want to make sure that this is not green. You want to make sure this one's red and this one's red to make sure that they're both off because we don't want to get confirmation for emails. And then again, click save settings and you're finished. So that's it for setting up the email. It's very basic. It's not too difficult to do, but you want to make sure that you go over each one of those steps so that you get your follow-up uh, imported and you get, you know, your sign-up form set up right and everything like that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy the system and to your success online. You know, that's my goal. So that's why we set up this system to make it easy for anybody to plug and play and start making money.